Hey, what's up, everybody? It is Techwares, and today is February 12th, 2024. And I want to show you how to keep your Dell Optiplex PC up to date with all the latest drivers and firmware and everything like that. So you need a tool called Dell Command Update. This is a program straight from Dell, so it's not a third party program. And using this tool, this program, you can check for the latest updates and install, download and install them. So as of making this video, Dell Command Update version is 5.1.0. And as you can see here, this is my Optiplex 5050. So just follow the instructions on the screen, read everything uh, that's displayed on the screen and you shouldn't have no issues because I know some people are afraid to update their um, drivers and especially firmware because they think something would go wrong 99% of the time you'll be fine so it's really simple it says to check for updates to your system click check so I'm gonna do that checking for updates and there we go. For me, it has found two new updates. As you can see right here, two of two. And both of them are critical updates. As you can see here, I can check this and uncheck it. However, I cannot uh, check on security updates or any other, uh, these other two, because I don't have any uh, updates needed for them. So for critical updates, I'm gonna click on view details to see what those updates are. And as you can see here, I have a new update for my BIOS. So as you can see, it says Dell Optiplex 5050 system BIOS, which is uh, the download size is uh, 21 megabytes. And this BIOS was available for me like a week ago, um, February 2nd, 2024. Also, I have an update for uh, the Intel management engine component installer and that is also from this month so you can click on this arrow over here and it will give you the full documentation and more information about the updates but I'm not gonna do that because I already know what these updates are about so um, there we go guys it's really that simple now before I click install and install these updates I want to show you how you can get Dell command update for your Optiplex. So it's really simple. Go to Google, type in Dell command update. All right, once you're there, just select um, uh, the, the link, the result link, the Google result for uh, Dell website. So make sure you get it from the official Dell website. So as you can see here, this is the uh, Dell website. I'm gonna click on expand all oh there we go so um, Dell command update there's actually a new version version 5.2.0 my version is 5.1.0 so I'm gonna do that I'm gonna download the newest version so there we go you click that as you can see here it says there are two downloads available for Dell command update so the first one is the actual Dell command update universal application and the second is the 32-bit and the 64-bit version of Windows 10 and 11 so for Windows 10 and 11 so I'm just gonna get the universal version because it's gonna detect which operating system I have whether it's Windows 10 or 11 and it's gonna install off that so I'm gonna go over here uh, scroll down and click update so there we go now I'm going to pick where to download it. Uh, just leave it in the downloads folder. So that is going to download finish really fast. So let me close this real quick. Go to my downloads and double click the installation. Let's see how that goes for me. Hopefully it goes well as I record. Um, there we go, install. Okay. 
just go through the updates this is live so this is going to take a minute so it says an older version of this product has been de detected would you like to continue the upgrade click yes so hopefully this goes smoothly for me so for you guys that don't have this updated it's not going to ask you to uh, oh sorry for you guys that don't have Dell command update it's not going to ask you to upgrade of course it's just going to install so um, I do not want to participate in this program hopefully it doesn't just restart my computer without asking me just for the sake of me making this video so you know what I will pause the video and I'll come back when the installation is finished so give me a second so there we go the download installation has been finished and it's gonna prompt me to restart my PC which I'm not gonna do and I'm, let me just run it again see what it says So yeah, there we go. It uh, it is now version 5.2.0. Let me do check updates again. Let that scan real quick. And there we go, guys. Now I'm gonna install the updates. And once again, I'll pause the video and I'll come back when it's finished. And there we go. The download and installation has been complete. Now all I have to do is restart the video.